I think the reason that I am driven to skate and the reason I am, I've got such great passion for ice skating is there is a feeling that happens when you are an ice skater and you've ice skated for such a long time that you actually feel like you're flying. My name is Stephanie Grosscup. I'm from Salt Lake City, Utah, and my occupation is an ice skating choreographer slash skating instructor. I was nine years old when I started ice skating. I had the fortunate experience that the first time I was ever on ice was at the historic and beautiful outdoor ice rink in Sun Valley, Idaho. And it was in the spring, and truly there is where I felt that I was free and that I was flying and that I just knew what I wanted to do at such an early age. As I went through the competitive years, which all ice skaters do once they start, I competed for probably about eight years, but I had had some experiences probably about the time I was maybe 15, 16 years old in the Sun Valley ice skating shows in the summer. And I, at that point, started to realize that what I wanted the most out of ice skating was to be in show business and that I wanted to be able to tour America and various other parts of the world with big ice skating shows. So I got out of competitive skating and started doing a little bit of teaching probably around the time I was 19 years old. And by the time I was 20, I joined Ice Follies Holiday on Ice and never looked back. My career has spanned probably about a 30 to 35 year period of being either in an ice skating show, being a choreographer for individuals, um, being a choreographer for big ice skating shows, um, and or just instructing. If, I, if I'm not doing any kind of choreography, I'm usually just teaching someone. And that would be I'm teaching anyone from the smallest beginner all the way up through an adult who might be in their 80s. In ice skating, there are so many career paths that a person can take. Um, most people think that in order to succeed in ice skating, you either have to be a national champion, a world champion, or Olympic champion. However, that is very untrue. Most skaters, if they have not become a national champion or an Olympic champion or world champion, they want to go into show business. So if I met a young five-year-old, six-year-old, 10-year-old teenager who had this great love and joy of ice skating, I would say my main advice to you would be this. Realize that when it comes to that point where let's say your initial dream was to become an Olympic champion and that dream does not pan out in the long run, just know that this doesn't mean that all the work and all the time and all the effort and the sacrifice that you've made since you were a small child and now let's say you're a college student wanting to do something with your ice skating, just know that that doesn't mean that it's over. That you can go on in ice skating and have an incredible career. And if you have that joy in your heart that you remember that you had when you first started ice skating, if you can always keep that joy and that spirit alive inside of you that you had when you were a child, you can take this career as far as you want to take it. There's so many different career paths an ice skater can take if they choose to, to stay in skating and to allow skating to morph and change throughout the years that they want to keep being an ice skater or being involved in this sport. I mean, I've been in this sport now for, oh my gosh, this is going on about 46 years. And, uh, and it just keeps changing and growing. And I figure as long as the, my career keeps changing and growing and I can continue to reinvent myself in this sport one way, shape or another, I'm gonna stay in it as long as I possibly can.